to do YouTube, bitch boy, spray paint back at you with another video. Y'all know what it is when y'all step in the building, man. So this segment is about how Jay-Z reacted on stage 2024 Grammys. You feel me? Now, we have never, ever seen Jay-Z make a public announcement and shade the Grammys. You feel me? Even though we don't heard him say he don't care about the Grammys and all that. But Jay-Z pulled a Cat Williams. Let's just keep it a book. He did that. He had everybody in the crowd confused because we never seen him, you know what I mean? We ain't never seen him shade the Grammys like he did. But anyway, he was saying in so many words like, the Grammys need to get it together. You feel me? Because it's crazy because he looking at it how Beyonce got more Grammys than all of these females and still haven't got album of the year. And he feels some type of way about it. Now, the crazy thing about it, you would think that Beyonce and Jay-Z will be cool and satisfied with the Grammys that they do have. I mean, he's right. She got more Grammys than all these girls, so I don't see why he feel like she should be entitled to album of the year. Now, uh, he's saying B has more Grammys than everybody and still haven't won album of the year because she lost six times. Six times she lost uh, album of the year when she came up there to get nominated. And he hadn't sold it to Grammy so bad to where you could even see him pouring alcohol inside of the inside of the award. You feel me? He using it as something to drink out of. Like, Jay-Z a fool with it, man. And he even said that Blue Ivy use an award for a sippy cup. I'm like, man, what the world is Jay-Z talking about? But basically, in so many words, he feels some type of way about Beyonce never winning album of the year. And we know Taylor Swift has won album of the year four times consecutively. You know what I mean? But at the same time, Jay-Z, it's other artists out there that feel the same way you do that don't get no awards. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, Jay-Z, he basically was shading the Recording Academy for snubbing Beyonce, man. Acting like Beyonce uh, didn't get her just due. I mean, but every artist feel that way, man. I mean, y'all done got y'all awards. Let, let these new people come through and do they thing. You feel me? Let let somebody else eat. Y'all got a plate full of food, man. I get a little greed. I'm getting them entitlement vibes. Them greed vibes. Y'all don't want to see nobody eat unless it's y'all. Now, uh, I don't get it. Beyonce has won so many awards, but there's also other talent musicians who deserve awards too. And they not ranting and acting crazy. Like, come on, man. Y'all, you too old for that, Jay-Z, man. That was, that was a crazy move. And, um, yeah, you pulled, a, you pulled a Kanye. You pulled a Cat Williams when you got up there because we was expecting to hear something different. But all we got was arrogance, entitlement, and basically you mad because your wife didn't win album of the year. That's what I get from it. I mean, Jay-Z arrogance is showing, man. One minute you don't need the Grammys. Now you begging for approval. Which one it is? So nine times out of ten, you and Beyonce must have this talk about how you don't never get album of the year. And these other artists get album of the year. And since she didn't get it, you decided to uh, throw shade on them people. But at the same time, it's a it's a it's a new year. It's a new 
Y'all can't win every year, man. Even though we already know when it come down to them Grammys, it be a little bias. A lot of selective politics. You feel me? It ain't too many people that slide through the cracks like that. But y'all too, Jay-Z and Beyonce, y'all ain't got no reason to be complaining about no Grammys, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about Jay-Z uh, shading um, the Recording Academy for snubbing Beyonce 2024. Y'all drop a comment below and let me know how y'all 